crescendo building song, isn't it? You can't help but you know sing Roy, along. Roy's been to a concert of Neil Diamond. Yes. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Have you? I don't blame you. He's brilliant. No, about yeah. ten years ago, but I ended up arguing with a woman next. <laughs> <laughs> all the songs out loud, so I uh, ended up in a bit of trouble that night. But brilliant concert. Holland, I'm talking about going far into the tournament. You'd have to doubt that, wouldn't of you? Of course, it was so enjoyable. We, we'd, we'd obviously we'd a good crack here watching it. <laughs> brilliant to watch as in terms of entertainment. But Holland at the back, and even the Ukraine at the back. Forget about it. For these in the latter stages of the competition, they'll be found out by the real top teams. And Rudiger's, he should be minding his own business. Why he's getting drawn into that and chasing people? He's like. Childlike, you're not trying to chase the ball. You know, real, real poor goal. It did this. look like a, it, it did a bit look like a kids' game at one stage, didn't it? They're all rushing after the ball near the yeah, top. Yeah, but that's right. Again, something you said. The players, particularly defensively, almost mind your own business. It's just inside their own half. Step back, and for the two midfielders to be the wrong side, you know, it's criminal. Well, look closely. I think it is a Looney Tunes tie. Gary, I want to know if he ever wore that in the Old Trafford dressing room. I don't think Roy would have allowed it. It's <laughs> <laughs> about right, though, the tie. <laughs> Would you have gone out with that tie? No, no, but it, I'm not surprised with Peter. Peter was a bit of a... Could be a bit of a balloon sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I think he meant great personality. Yeah. The lads were sent off a lot more than me, but the few times I was sent off, <laughs> I always felt, did I give the referee a chance to send me off? And if the answer was yeah, then... Uh, we need to I check. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We need to check that. can't be right. Now, I've heard now people say, well, they want him around the place. For what? what? What does he do? Car tricks? Does he has a sing song? Is he does quizzes in the evenings? What does he do? And if you're Liverpool, you wouldn't be happy either. Yeah, but right, we need that kind of experience in and around them. There's a lot of players that need that. Right, experience. This Jordan's an experience, but plays for Liverpool. He doesn't want to be around. Surely Jordan doesn't want to be around the players. He'd have been some sort of cheerleader. Sterling or Grealish, you cannot sit there and have a young kid walk up ahead of you. You can't. I don't you care. They, if you, are. you think they should have volunteered? You, have, you can't sit there and go. I see a young kid, 90, a child walking up in front of me. And I've played a lot more games, I've got a lot more experience. Sterling has won trophies. I'm not saying he wasn't prepared. Even Garrett might have been thinking you're going to be six or seven. You can't sit there. That must be hard to take. You've got to get in front of this young kid and say, listen, I'll step up before you. I remember when we won the, the World Cup in 98 and the European Championship in 2000, the majority of the players were playing in Italy. Mm. Yeah. So that is why the French League, it's, it's good, it's competitive, but it's completely in a different level from the Liga or the Premier League. That's, that's a good sentence, that, isn't it? Mm. When we won the World Cup in 98 in the European yeah, Championship. Yeah, I've said it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's just a start. Yeah. Once is enough. Once is enough. <laughs> <laughs> but they got the job done. You look at Scotland after the game, the manager, and some of the pundits said, Scotland played quite well, but they got beaten, didn't score a goal. They need to step up to the players. Felix, Felix when he came on... That guy's an imposter. He's an imposter. <clears throat> he comes on like this. Your country needs you, and he comes on... It's a target. He's what, 100 million. Oh, I think if I was Ronaldo, you, again, you'd certainly be going after him in the dressing room. Yeah, I think the only thing I'd be critical of is why would you want to speak to an opposition player? I don't care if he's your team in or not for, for over 20 minutes. I very rarely speak to anybody for over five minutes. I just, after a game when you've been, been to war against somebody, why you'd want to chat to somebody for that long? So it's. Um, you know, they could have used a bit more common sense. I hope your wife gets more than five minutes chat with you. Never. <laughs> she might be happy about that. He's done some brilliant stuff going forward tonight. There's no doubt in Paul's quality, but it was just the other side, it maybe his maturity. And we've mentioned all night, it, United have had the problem as well. Can he play in a two midfield? He probably can't. He hasn't got the discipline. He was at his best at Juventus, where he probably got a bit more freedom and was surrounded probably by more men and more characters and probably better quality players. But he just, even tonight, he still leaves, he still leaves, leaves you frustrated. Yeah. For all his brilliant quality going forward, I still think he lacks that discipline defensively to... To take him to the next level on a consistent basis? Yeah, and of course, and that's yeah. the key. Yeah. That's the key. The top players, the lads who do it week in, week out. Paul, to me, still doesn't quite do it. I think Wales need their captain, the man who wears the armband to lead tomorrow. Yeah, like, like Roy, look. Yeah. <laughs> he had to keep his armband on his jumper. <laughs> 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 I like it though. Yeah. I like it. Two captains, one armband. Yeah. One armband. He's letting us know he's a captain. <laughs>